When it comes to social media, some people want to automate the process of getting their message out there. So there's software such as Buffer.com, Hootsuite, Recur Post, Post Planner, etc., that will you can where you can schedule a series of content and then just have it post to your various all your different social media platforms on a recurring basis. Now that seems to sound good, right? Why wouldn't you do that? Well, let me tell you why. Okay. Number one, the algorithms tend not to like it. Okay. Facebook, especially Facebook page, Facebook, the Facebook newsfeed tends to decrease the visibility as far as my experience anyway. And I've seen this, several other people say this, uh, of posts coming from buffer.com or Hootsuite or other automatically scheduled posts. There's a difference though with using Facebook has its own scheduler. If you use your Facebook business page, you can schedule posts from your Facebook business page and that's fine. That, that shows up regularly as a Facebook post. But using third-party apps is what I'm talking about here. And the algorithms tend not to like it. And you know why the algorithms don't tend to like it? Because humans don't tend to like it. You have a limited amount of attention looking at a newsfeed. Do you want that news feed to be cluttered up by automated postings from people who weren't there, but they scheduled it and they just, it just kind of like doing its own routine, like, oh, post this thing every three months or whatever like that, or every three weeks or whatever. Human beings want to feel like, well, social media is social, okay? Social media. It's media of the people, from the people, for the people, okay? So what we humans like is to know that when you're posting something that you are actually there like in the moment present your thoughts are genuinely of of the present moment like yes i believe what i'm saying right now versus oh yeah i definitely believed it three months ago uh, but i haven't checked to see if i've evolved my thoughts since then and especially as authentic businesses and as solopreneurs your framework your ideas evolve continually especially before you have a lot of practice doing tons of content it, it continues to evolve my thoughts even though i've done over a thousand videos by this point and over a thousand blog posts um i should clarify most of those blog posts were just written um companions to my videos on facebook but uh th they're still evolving my thoughts are still evolving as I continue learning more about myself, as I continue learning what, what works even better uh, in terms of business or marketing and what's more authentic and how, how the society is changing. So even three months, your thoughts will evolve. Um, maybe even one month, your thoughts will evolve. So I think one month should be the maximum amount of time that you're scheduling something to be, to be showing up. I prefer to give myself that, uh, a rule of one week. If I write something or record something, I want it to show up on social media uh, within a week so that it's still, it's, still, it's still fresh and true, right? So because we humans don't like it and we start to notice, if we start following you and you, we start seeing certain things posted again and again on some recurring basis, you know, um, we, might, we might start to question that. And that's why the algorithms have learned that humans don't like it. But whether or not the algorithm likes it, do you know that, yes, you got more visibility with that piece of content, but at what cost? Your audience isn't telling you that mm, yeah, they don't, they don't uh, like you as much because they can sense there's something deeper with the authenticity not quite being there. But um, uh, also, I mean, I, I think there's just a kind of a, a sense of fairness about it. Your audience's attention is limited right? They can only see a certain number of posts per day. Well, your own time is also limited. So you can only post a certain number of things per, per week or per day or whatever. But robots are not, are not limited. You could schedule a robot to be posting, you know, as much as, as you want and whatever. And so um, there's a sense of fairness there. I think a future where more and more of us depend on automated social media posting, Buffer, Hootsuite, etc., is a future that is less and less human and less and less authentic. And you have to also look at your own sense of integrity about it, which is, 
do you want a message, that, like I said, that was true for you three months ago to be recycled again and again without your conscious attention back on it to say, is this still uh, what I edit? So every time I repost something, I always do some light editing just to make sure that, yes, it's still me. This is still what I believe. This is true and genuine of my voice right now. So that's the main thing I wanted to say today is to even though there seems to be it seems to be convenient to be using these things to post everywhere at this oh the, that's the other issue that i wanted to address is it a good idea? people also say, george how can i put something one place and it goes everywhere at once why do you want to do that do you think it's really going to save you time honestly honestly how much more time how much time is it going to save you how much time is it going to take you to take the same thing you put on facebook and manually put it on LinkedIn. How much time, honestly? Okay, let's, calc let's, let's, let's time it, right? You open up, you've already written something for Facebook or your, for your blog or whatever. You take five seconds, 10 seconds to open up LinkedIn. You copy and paste to your LinkedIn. You edit, if you, you know, there's character limitations or whatever, you edit, maybe you add a few hashtags. The whole thing takes you less than five minutes to to manually put it on LinkedIn or on Twitter or um, you know what on Instagram you might need to put an image or whatever but but it takes you less than a few minutes to do do it for that other platform and each platform has its own etiquette has its own feel to it you have to know the feel of each platform by practicing posting there enough and looking at other people's postings and so I guess I'm a purist when it comes to social media I don't use any automated software. Uh, everything you see, I do it myself, and I have a full roster of clients, and I have forty-five person full group program that I that I facilitate, and I create a new course every month, or at least redo a course every month, and all of that is done, you know, with very good work-life balance, working hours. So, I don't think anybody has any solopreneur has an excuse for using Buffer or Hootsuite. Honestly, I don't. I don't. I don't see the case for it. If you Comment below and let me know what you see as the case for why it's working for you, maybe. But does it match your authenticity? Uh, does it match um, your audience's sense of your authenticity? I don't think it's a benefit, honestly. I, I don't. And um, so I post everything manually. Everything is done manually. Just take that extra few minutes to post it on the other social media platforms. What's the big deal, honestly? Honestly, it's not like you post that often. You, you create original content how often? Maybe some of you do it seven times a week, right? Seven, one a day. Take that extra two minutes to post on LinkedIn, extra two minutes to post it on Twitter. There's an extra four minutes right there. I mean, don't be, sad, don't be, don't be so lazy. I don't, I don't understand why you are wanting to do one place and everywhere. It doesn't respect the culture of these different platforms, you see. So let's get that fantasy out of our mind. It's the uh, the fantasy of automating automation's great i use automation i use zapier to automate when when someone buys my course they get automatically added to my email lists uh they get automatically sent the access information there are certain things that automation makes sense but when it comes to content automation does not make sense content is about you as a human being being real with other human beings that's what content works the best as. That's what people want. They don't want something that's auto-generated, okay? I, can, I even see people using software that auto-generates stories for them to post. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is not social media. It's becoming automated media. Your audience will sense it. Your own conscience will sense it. And then the future, it's not gonna work in the future because you know people don't like it. So, um, I hope this is helpful. And uh, the other thing I want to mention is that, um, yeah. The, by the way, this live video has more viewers than usual because all of you know, many of you are like, "Yeah, I want to learn how to automate things." This is not a thing you automate. Content is not to be automated. Okay. Anybody who tells you that, the only case where I see content being automated, I think that might work, is bigger companies that have teams for social media, and bigger companies don't have a single voice. It's more like a brand and they have, it's very artificial in terms of the, they have to match the, the, the content needs to match the voice brand. Whereas us solopreneurs, us authentic businesses, we're not, we're not doing artificial content. We're not doing 
content that's like overly thought out it's as to be as authentic as possible which is why by the way this is why live videos are being emphasized by the different social platforms why does facebook emphasize live video why does instagram you know emphasize that why does youtube emphasize that why does twitter even has live video why because humans like authenticity in the moment is authenticity, not something I scheduled three months ago or wrote a year ago and just repost without any thought. It's not authentic, okay? And the algorithms, therefore, have noticed that, like I said, and that's why. So I hope this is helpful, and um, thanks for those. Uh, just, to, just so you know, my, I'm, I'm testing something going forward where my, my videos, my twice a week videos are gonna be a bit shorter now so that I have additional time to, to try out IGTV, Instagram TV. I'm gonna start playing with that and putting my content there as well. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, find me. It's at uh, Geo Cow. Someone else took George Cow and he never uses it. I contacted him, I tried to, and he hasn't responded to me. He just, I don't know what, he, what he's doing. But at uh, G-E-O-K-A-O -G -O on Instagram if you wanna kinda of see how I do things there. Uh, I, I tried it for a while. I gave it up because I didn't like the one-minute limitation. But now with IGTV, Instagram TV, IGTV, it now has 10-minute limitations. So I feel like, okay, 10 minutes, I could, I could say something in 10 minutes. So I, that's why these videos are going to be shorter. I'll be, I'll be on IGTV um, as well. And thank you, for, thank you for being part of my audience. Um, I, I'm always open to your feedback, to your questions. By the way, I'm not always right. Uh, in fact... If you believe everything I say, <laughs> um, you know, it's then none of us learn, none of us learn new things, right? So, so feel free to challenge me, always ask me questions, say, hey, George, so and so says this, what do you think? It feels true to me, what do you think about that? Please feel free to do that. So, thanks for those who are joining me live here uh, Lisa, Ryan, Alejandra, Miriam, Elisa, Arturo, Sharon, Caroline. Um, Grayson, Danny, Danielle, uh, Donna, Amanda, thank you so much for being here. And until the next video, I wish you authenticity and I wish you um, your full and rich humanity in your expression on, in your content. Blessings.